Hi everybody, today is a, a big day as far as our contest goes with our t-shirts and the, the contest was to guess which horses were cultivating in the cornfield. And I thought that maybe we would have a lot of correct guesses and I was surprised how few correct guesses we had. And, but the more I think about it, I can understand why. I think I would have had a difficult time guessing also because of the way I made the video and because of the, just the circumstances of it all. And so, of course, I tried not to show as much of the horses to give you great clues. But anyways, um, the correct answer is, drum roll please, I'm not gonna tell you. You have to wait till the end of the video and Abby would tell you. So, what I am doing today is putting new shoes on Ken. So Ken, I will usually have big shoes like this on my horses with these big toe corks and these big heel corks. Now the purpose of these big heavy shoes is for, for pulling heavy loads and when I'm you know when I'm logging with my horses they have to pull heavy loads and that's why you need really good traction to be able to do that. Um, during the summer months I am not logging quite so much and so I had decided a few weeks ago to pull the shoes off the black horses and I did and they were actually a little bit lame from when I after I did that which is unusual they don't normally aren't usually that way but for some reason they were especially for Cam. And he's still a little bit tender for it even right now. So, um, and I have decided to put shoes back on them, but instead of using the big heavy cork shoes that I normally would put on, since they're just doing farm work, I have decided to put on just some flat shoes with drill techs along the toes and along the heels for traction and to keep the shoes from wearing out too fast. Um, it's mostly to keep the shoes from wearing out too tra fast because they don't really need the traction for the type of work that they will be doing the rest of the summer. Although they still will be able to go into the woods if I choose to put them there because they have shoes to protect their feet. When the horses are working in the woods, they're into rocks and just rough ground and they're more apt to tear up their, their hooves, um, whereas a shoe will protect that. So anyways, I'm going to put these brand new shoes on. These are shoes I got from my Amish neighbor. He buys these shoes just as plates, just as flat shoes, and then he actually puts on the drill techs. So let's get at it. Okay, I got started on the shoeing, and then I had to realize I had to go do something to fix some things. If you notice, these shoes had pretty heavy duty toe clips on them, which I generally love a toe clip, but for some reason this toe clip was sunk way back onto the, sh onto the shoe. And so to make this shoe fit the way I like it to fit, I would have had to put this shoe way too far ahead and I wouldn't have been able to shorten up my toes. And so I chose to cut that toe clip off. That's why there's a groove here, which won't hurt a thing. Um, but now it will fit a little bit better. Um, I am. I put the other shoe on the further side, dark over there, so I didn't think you'd see it. And uh, it's not. It went on all right, but it's not that pretty. The shoe, the hoof itself, had had for some reason, and doesn't normally do it with these guys, but they just lost a lot of hoof in the last few weeks. So we'll see about getting this one on. I'm only planning on putting front shoes on. That's all I planned on doing for today. Come here.
Okay, that job's done of what I'm going to do for today. Those two shoes will should take care of his slight bit of lameness. And uh, um, the hind shoes I may or may not put on in the next few days, I'm not sure. And now he's able to get back to work. We've got to be ready because hopefully in the next few days the Amish crew is coming in here to help do the harvesting of the oats. And so that's kind of exciting and hopefully I can share some videos about that whole operation in the next week or so. So I decided to hitch up Ken with Lady and go out. I had a couple wagon loads of partial loads in my barn that I needed to put up into the hay barn. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just swinging around with this partial load to put up the elevator into the barn. I got a little close to the elevator though, so I had to back up and set myself over a little bit so I didn't knock the elevator over, but it went well. Okay, now let's go to Abby and see what she has to tell you about the big contest. Hi everyone, so we are finally going to pick the winners of the t-shirt contest who gets a free t-shirt. And um, so there aren't actually very many names in this hat because a lot of people did not get it right. Uh, and I don't blame them because they're very hard to tell apart, um, especially just from the video. But um, as you can see, in this picture. Um, the horses that we actually have here cultivating the corn are Ken and Lady. Um, so Ken and Buck are kind of easier for me at least to tell apart because um, you can see that Ken's face is basically all black and it just has a white on the top. And Buck, however, is a lot more gray in his face. So that's how I can tell those two apart. Um, but Bill and Lady are way harder at least for me to tell apart, they basically look identical. Um, Lady kind of has a more feminine face, but I mean, I don't blame you at all for getting wrong, because I don't know if I would have gotten right, honestly. Anywho, um, so it was Ken and Buck, no, it was Ken and Lady <laughs> in the field. And so the people that won, the people that said the right names are in this hat here, and I'm going to draw. Draw me please. And the winner is Steve Hoffman. Congratulations, Steve. I hope that you enjoy your new shirt. So Steve Hoffman, if you are watching this video, um, please send us an email at workinghorseswithjim at yahoo.com and um, let us know what shirt you want, what size you are, and your address, and we will send it to you. So thank you everyone for guessing. And if you're interested in purchasing one of these shirts, um, the link is in the description below again. It's at workinghorseswithjim.com. So we hope that you all have a wonderful day and we will see you later. Mm -hmm.